Welcome, welcome. This is Solange Ellen, and I'm just recording this little true news update from Nadri Nation, Sandy Creek. It's the 17th of November, 2021. And I wanted to read a letter um, that was written by George Dixon uh, in support of the truth in, in Takara and Donna's case and sent to the court. Greetings, I am George Dixon of Bunjalung Nation. I'm currently living upon Ghana Nation land. I have known Donna Markwell for more than two years. I have been informed that Donna is being brought before this court without charge and with no evidence of having engaged in any crime. To my knowledge, this court is operating without the authority of the Ghana Nation, who are the recognised owners and lawmakers of the land in this location in violation of the law of the land. I have had the privilege of assisting Donna in defending herself and her family against these types of unjust processes in the past. And just like in the past, it is my expectation that no claim made against her has been verified. And upon even the simplest of real investigation, they would be found to be baseless and without substance. It is my understanding Takara Marko was being held prisoner without charge and is not believed to have committed any crime. I have been informed Takara has been denied any contact with any member of her family, nor has she been allowed access to a lawyer to act on her behalf in having her released from her current imprisonment. It appears from the, from the information before me that Takara should be immediately released from the unlawful imprisonment, imprisonment in which she is currently held and that any other action against her would be criminal by its very nature. George, George Dixon of Bunjalung Nation. Thanks, George. So George is aware of the truth of the real lawful sovereignty belonging to the First Nations and the courts operating without lawful sovereignty and without jurisdiction of law, which is why we've basically got, you know, an absolute lawless, um, you know, criminal enterprise posing as the authorities here. And really it is up to we the people to educate ourselves and get the true news out to ourselves and each other through our human grapevine, just sharing this information so that we can actually restore the real law of the land and get back protection for our human rights for our children, for our families, for our community, so that we're not being constantly under attack by these for-profit corporations that are quite literally sucking the life out of us, you know, through, it's from the banking, starts with the banking, so the death pledges, all of that is fraudulent contracts. And when we come back to the real law of the land, we the people have the absolute ability to dissolve all of the false debt all of the fraudulent debt, have a housing amnesty, an economic amnesty. We have the ability to get rid of all of these ties to the big pharmaceutical mafia that's pushing out all of this bad information and take back all of our broadcasting and get true news and good quality information that empowers people to have, you know, the best possible natural health and really thriving, happy, healthy lives, not this fear, 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 COVID fraud rubbish that everyone is being constantly bombarded with at the moment. So, yeah, the, the more we can get the true news out, the faster we can turn this around. So let's, you know, work together, Team Humanity. Thanks, George.